to this stateless code cast. This is the fifth video in the series on creating a Ruby gem with our gem nerd dice. So right now we have a very simple gem that I'll go in here. It really only has one method. And that gives us our item. We can do it a bunch of times. Results. So we've got our items there, and it's um, working as intended. We have tests that are passing. So we've only got this this one method, but we're going to rather before we add more functionality, we're going to to work toward publishing our gem to Ruby gems. There are a couple of reasons for this. Uh, for one, uh, we've got this gem built with the name Nerd Dice, which is currently not taken. So we're going to go and do that so that in the event the unlikely event that somebody publishes a gem with the same name in the meantime that we won't get um, have to go back and rename our gem and all of our classes and all that stuff. Um, and also because this might go fairly in depth, we're going to create some, some, a, a die class and some other things that um, may, there might be interesting Ruby to you, but um, if you're wanting to just know the basics of the life cycle of how to publish a gem, we're going to, have our bias toward publishing it uh, earlier and get get into the full life cycle earlier rather than um, having you go through um, however many more videos this is before we publish anything. So that's our rationale behind it. Now let's take a look at our RuboCop situation. So we do have some offenses. Issues about block having too many lines, case equality, or git directory is clean right now. Uh, we'll try the uh, um, RuboCop A and see what gets fixed. equals bonus if box bonus dot is a all right so I'm fine with that we'll let that we'll let that equivalent all of our tests still pass we'll keep it yeah and that I can see the the reason for that so this is um, more readable and clearer code to somebody. So you've got to, um, when you're using case the case equality operator there, if you're coming from another language like JavaScript where it's um, meaning a, like identical equality more than the, the double equals, then it, this is going to be a confusing construct there. So that makes sense. We will now take a look at what else we've got. So down to five offenses. All right, top level documentation comment. So that is valid. Then we would want that before we 
um, before we release our gem. So we'll go into Nerd Dice here. I'll pause and write a comment so that we don't watch me type. So we've got our module level comment here. And I'm also going to go in and add a method level comment for our total dice method. So we've got our class method here documented. We'll run RuboCop again. See it just added that that empty space after the um, nerd dice error definition there. So now we've got back down to our five offenses, four offenses. And those are all related to our specs and our block length which we'll we'll deal with when we refactor our items here um, we want to go into our gem spec now and make sure that we have uh, Rubocop defined as a development dependency so specification and development dependency do this our gem spec As well, get it all out of the way. those to what we're requiring in our RuboCop file. So we have more. more, more errors here, but let's make sure that we've got the 
ones that we are specifying here set as development dependencies. Single quotes. Here, we'll just pause while I fill this out. You don't need to watch me. So we've got our dependencies entered here. Make sure we didn't break anything. like it still works. We're going to attempt to rake build healer here. Looks like it compiled and built, so we'll remove it for now. So we're not ready to package it yet. Now we'll continue through our repo. So we need usage information in our readme. We need to replace the description and all of our unlicensed stuff. So what I'll do is I'll go in, and this is how I usually deal with the mark GitHub markdown files. I will go into our readme.md here, copy the values, and I will go and edit an issue. In GitHub, and this allows me to see um, live what the how GitHub would display this readme, and that's really what I care about is how that gets displayed. So um, I'll pause here, make my modifications, review them, and then we'll go from there. So we've got this readme looking how I want it. Go back to write. Select it all. Go back into VS Code. I did make while we were paused a couple of modifications to the comments, so I did some spacing and a couple other added information about the return value to the, the total dice method. But do that. Take one more look at Rubocop. See if anything's a showstopper. class instead of nerd dice. Alright, 
right, so we want too many with context. I don't have a problem with that. Describe class instead of that. Let's auto-correct them. Six are all related to block length and nesting, so we can live with that. That works for me. Got our status. We get diff. So we added some new items to our our lock here. So a little review through these things. We've got a change log. Optimistic and make this today. That looks good, and we'll do status that works we'll get add get commit write our commit message so here's our commit message we're committed And in our next video, we'll go in and do some security things and sign and uh, add some certs and release the gem. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.